Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Arctic. I hope you guys liked that little intro I made right there. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny myself. Um, I wanted to make this video. Obviously, the game's shutting down. If you haven't seen already, the Discord has been reduced to just one channel. There is a second channel for a few people who had access to it. Um, not myself. It was for um, the Q&A for the Glyphs, if you guys remember when they did that. That channel's still up for people who were granted special access to that. Um, however, uh, everything else is shut down over there. Um, we got a message in game and on the discord server saying, Hey, the game's shutting down. So May 24th, the servers will be closing. Um, it really sucks, honestly, uh, that this, that this happened. Uh, I think we all knew it was coming. Um, I'm just very disappointed with capital games. Um, this game had so much potential and they failed to, they failed to nurture it properly into what a great game it could have been. Um, I'm also very disappointed that they're shutting it down and it's not being sold. I don't understand why the game's not being sold. Uh, it must, what I believe is it has to be like a, a company policy. I don't know if EA sold their games to other companies before, but that's like the only thing that makes sense because we've seen Marvel Strike Force. Uh, we've seen that game get sold twice um, from like Fox Next to Scopely and someone else uh, also owned it. I forget the third party's name or maybe they're the current owners. Um, but yeah, the game that game has been sold several times and it's continued to succeed. This game could have been sold and easily picked up by a competent development team and a good product could have been made. So I don't know where they went wrong. Um, you know, working on the game. I know I obviously we know what's wrong with the game. It's just where did they go wrong that they failed so miserably? Like it's it's honestly like it's pathetic how how bad they failed at this game. Like, it doesn't make sense. Compar comparing it to other games, like, the only thing that makes sense is that the, all the people working on this game have never started a game from scratch. And they've all only been, like, uh, employees on existing products. And they've never had to, you know, do a game from its its beginning. So I don't I don't understand um, how they failed so miserably in that, in that respect. Uh, some of you are probably wondering what's going to happen with the channel. Um, this channel has been through loads of content um, since it's been created. So I'll probably, I'll just start content for something else. I really do need to get down on a specific niche uh, type of content because I did recently private like all of my like older videos because I think I've been hurting my algorithm by having such a wide... Um, history of content. I don't know necessarily if that's true. I definitely saw significant improvement um, in my channel's progression when I did just narrow it down to Heroes of Middle Earth. However, I don't think I want to continue with mobile games. Um, I could make a second channel, but I'd rather use this one. Uh, I want to do more like existing games rather than mobile games because uh, I feel like it's easier to make content on existing games and it's more fun too you know i feel like most of the content for mobile games is um whatever what what whatever is new in the game is the new content or i guess getting to certain uh certain power levels and teams and showing those off performing in certain levels but if you're not the first to do it then it's already existing content so you have nothing new to show off um, unless you're hyper focused and you, uh, you know, do runs diligently trying to find the, the best strategy and then you share that with the community. But that's never been something um, I've really done. I wish the Lord of the Rings MOBA game, or not MOBA, but um, MMO game was coming out. Uh, I forget what company's working on that, but I think that's going to be quite a ways away. I think. I don't know, 2026? I, I really don't know, but I know it's not close. Uh, I think that would have been fun to play. Had it been sooner, I could just have branched right into that straight from this. But I think that, it, that it, it's too far out that I won't be able to do that on this channel um, soon enough. I don't want to leave the channel you know, ghosted for until that game comes out. And then, hey, maybe that game flops. We never know. Uh, I think what... I, I don't I don't know what I want to do with the channel honestly
the main thing I've been thinking about was Smite 2. It's a uh, a mobile game, kind of like League of Legends, but it's like third person with actual gods from different um, pantheons. Um, and it's being made on Unreal Engine 5, so the graphics are incredible compared to uh, the original Smite, which was uh, made on Unreal Engine 3. Uh, I've done Unreal, I've done uh, Smite content before on this channel. It's done all right. So I thought maybe, you know, a fresh start on a new game would be good. Maybe I could uh, improve at that game and I could reach higher ranks and, you know, uh, maybe be able to be good uh, at it. That's kind of something I've struggled with too, is I've never been like um, the highest rank in, in games. Any game with like a rank system, I've never been like a top rank at. Um, I've always kind of like averaged in like every game I played like as, as a plat player. So that's just like just above where like most players are at, which is typically like gold or like in a silver, if that kind of makes sense. And then I kind of just get just above into plat. Maybe I could make it to the diamond a, a tier higher than that. But um, if I played a, enough and got diligent, but I, I, I don't think I could go higher than that uh, personally. Um so yeah, I struggle in that regard because a lot of the desired content to be consumed is high rank pro type of gameplay. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of just uh, talking about really just what's on my mind with the channel. Uh, if I haven't said it in this recording, because I've done multiple recordings of this and then I just rant for too long. Hopefully I don't do this here. But uh, if anyone wants to unsubscribe, feel free to do so. Uh, there's not going to be any more Heroes of Middle-Earth content on this game. I, Although I am playing Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, uh, I don't really plan on spending in that game anymore. And I don't want to make any content for that because I don't want to promote any of EA's content um, on my channel. I think uh, it's a failed company and they don't deserve any free promotion um, that I would provide it. Although anyone who's probably watching the videos was probably already playing the games. But I think uh, what's happened here with Heroes of Middle-Earth is enough to um, put up some warning signs outside of any EA product to not consume them. So that's my two cents on it. Uh, if you do stick around, my Discord is uh, still active. I'm going to leave it up. Uh, it is in the description down below. So if you wanted to join my Discord or uh, talk about Heroes of Middle Earth or have any questions or just um, anything like that, you can ask me down below uh, in the Discord. Um, my account on this, I, not that it really matters anymore. We had 454,000 collection power. 74,000 was our strongest squad power. Total arena wins, 425. We had 68 characters, so the total characters unlocked. Um, filtering by power, we can see here, I had a fully maxed Elder here at 17,343, level 10 glyphs, max abilities, G10. That's the only character I'm just going to look at like that. Everyone else we can just scroll by. Um, yeah, we had full G9 Rivendell, except for Lomian, full G9 Heradrum, full G9, uh, Fellowship. Um, we were working on Thorns Company, G9, we had Gaz, G9. Ammer was my highest Rohan. I never did get to build up my Rohan. Uh, there were just five stars here. They are Eowyn and Eothane, five stars. We never did build up uh, Dol Guldur. We had them at four stars, but never really used them. Same thing with Gondor. Had them at four stars, uh, but never really used them either. But uh, yeah, so that is a look at my roster. Um, if I Also, if I haven't said it in this recording... Uh, I'll get a seven star to Beb tomorrow and then I'll probably just call it for the account. Um, probably just take some screenshots of everything and that'll just kind of be the memoir of the account and, and this video and my other videos as well. But that's it for the game. Um, I don't really know how to end this. Um, I appreciate all of you who have watched my videos over time who've joined my discord uh the three channel members that i just got uh which feel free to cancel your your subscription um thank you so much to um those guys shane sage uh, anuman uh for supporting me um but yeah 
and everyone else as well. Uh, just because you weren't a channel member, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm grateful for all of you for watching my content, showing up to my live streams and talking to me. Watch me rage through all my uh, my raid runs. It's been fun. Um, I wish that they would bring back Lord Elrond and Thorin for people to unlock. As just a, hey, thank you. And then make freaking uh, the characters in the shop like one gem, like uh, the Great Goblin and all that or something. Or just give all the characters for free in the, like the last week. Just max everyone's resources. They won't do that though because they don't give a shit about us. Um, it'd be cool if they did, but they're not going to do that because they're not going to spend an ounce of effort as much as they want to act like they respect us. They have no respect for us. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope wherever you guys end up in your mobile gaming or just gaming adventure in life, if this is a wake up call to get you away from these games and doing something else, that's amazing as well. So uh my channel will still be around if you ever see me making any uh different content that you're interested in or if you just want to say what's up just always comment down below i'll remember you guys um but yeah hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day catch you guys in the next one peace out